Okay, everybody, here's a little update video. So down on this bottom row here, we have the broccoli and you can see, try to get my finger in here. There, 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 there. There's a whole bunch of them coming up. Now, none of the peppers, artichokes have come up. Um, here, this kale has come up. I think there's about nine of them in here. Here, 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 here. Broccoli, there's a bunch in here. There, 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 there. Um, let's keep looking here. There's a little cauliflower there. Still waiting on the tomatoes, nothing yet. No asparagus yet. I'm down here actually watering. What I'm using is just a little Pepsi bottle. Put some holes in and I just give it a squirt. I don't wanna get any water on any of the lights underneath. So this is the easiest way. And I can stand this bottle pretty much. If you can see that straight up and down. But no peppers yet, looking a little dry. I come down here every night, water it for a little bit. Let's see if we can get up here. I don't think there's anything growing up here, but it seems to be the cauliflower, broccoli, kale, and that seems to be about it right now that's really coming up. Today I'm making chili with all items from the pantry. So I got my onions in there that were frozen that I did last year and I got my beef so I gotta open that up and plop her in there. I love the smell of cooking onions. Mm. Then when you add garlic or anything to it, oh, that smells great. All right, I'm just gonna lift this brown up. I usually add red pepper, but I found some yellow. I'm gonna use that up. A little bit of salt and pepper on here. Now this is only for Russ and I, otherwise this would be a lot of meat and peppers and all that stuff. I haven't filled my pepper grinder yet. All right, let that thaw a bit. So I've got Spanish smoked paprika. That looks good. Remember now, it's just Russ and I. Chili powder. Can always add more later, right? Cumin. Red pepper, or cayenne, I should say. I probably shouldn't shake this in there. Let me get a spoon. All right, let's start with that. And garlic powder. I could put onion powder in there too. I guess I will. I gotta get the bag open. All right. Let's stir all that up. Ooh, it smells delicious. Ooh, I smell, I think I smell the red the red pan. Wow, this smells great. Okay, so I'm gonna turn this down so my seasonings don't burn. And then I have a jar of our pasta sauce. I put a video out there about this. Put a little bit of water in that jar and get all the goodies out. All right, so I'm not gonna put in toma uh, tomato paste because it's pretty thick. I'm going to wait with putting in more liquid. I know I want to get some like crushed tomatoes in there. 
So I'm gonna let this cook a bit and then take it from there. I got it on huh, between medium and low and let this, the flavors all blend together and take it from there. And I'm gonna add two things, diced tomatoes. I just don't have any of my own. And then rinsed kidney beans. And then when I do this, I take note because I only have one more can of kidney beans. All right, stir that up and keep it cooking. So it's been cooking for quite a while. And I just did a taste test. It's delicious. See, and that's enough for Russ and I. We'll have, we'll probably have leftovers. All right. Thank you for watching with my different glasses because I can't find my other ones. I like chili because it's one of, it's like a, you know, stew. You just dump stuff in there and let it cook and then it warms your insides up really well. Those are those homegrown, home good, feel good meals. I don't know if I'm going to make garlic bread, toast him up some homemade bread or nothing. Maybe just crackers. I don't know. But thanks again. See you on the next video. Bye.